taking marine life and terrestrial beauty, Komodo Islands is fast becoming one of the world's best diving destinations. Located in the East Nusa Tenggara province of Indonesia, it is also home to the famous Komodo dragons. Indonesia plans to close the island for rehabilitation and to improve conservative efforts on these giant monitor lizards. Now I knew time was ticking and I needed to get over my fear of seasickness real suddenly. And the only best way to truly appreciate Komodo is on a liverboard. Hey! <laughs> Indonesia, Komodo and Rajampat are part of the most beautiful places in the world. So if you want to enjoy them, it's not about one day or two days and coming back on, the, on, on land and go back again and you don't know really where. No, you go on a cruise and you are going to enjoy the best trip and you are going to know where you are going to be and to explore the huge area as much as possible. Thank you for coming and welcome on the Jacare. Not wanting to have a bad first time experience on a liverboard, I knew I needed to find a cruise that I could rely on, one that would make me feel safe and comfortable. Jacare came top on my list. I have to say, it's uh, you know, straight up mm. non alcoholic. Cheers. <laughs> Don't worry, what we, do can, you we can fix that, okay? <laughs> okay? I was a bit worried at the beginning because I thought I would get seasick, but I didn't, which I really love. And when I walked on the boat, I just really loved the quality. Like how it's the attention to details, the wood, how it's finished, how it's fine, how it feels good walking barefoot everywhere. So I felt very safe and well looked after. After our welcome drinks, we had a tour of the vessel and was introduced to the crew. <laughs> then it was time for the crew to get to know us better. This ice-breaking session was important, especially since we were going to be stuck together on a boat over the next six days. Susanna! Hello, apa kabar? Saya Daphne dari Malaysia. Hello. Saya Jo. And so, if you need something, of course, really don't hesitate to come to me. Okay? Jacare, such a regal name for such an elegant boat. Jacare means uh, it's a type of alligator in uh, Brazil, but it's also the name of uh, capoeirist of my son, oh. or it used to be. He was doing a capoeira when we were living in Kuala Lumpur, and his teacher said, oh, you, you will have a nickname, and nickname is Jacare. So he was very proud of it, and we liked it. It was like the boat was screaming, oh, I want to be a Jacare too. <laughs> you know? it, just, it felt right, it just felt right. And we found out afterward that Jakari uh, remind people of Jakarta, so which is quite logical. We are in Indonesia, so it's you know you stay in this idea of Indonesia, and it's also our it's very close of our partner business name, which is Jakarundas. So it's like everything came together, and uh, we like that. This boat was built in Tanabiru, which is in the south of Makassar, South Sulawesi, on the beach. So it was really built on the beach. This boat is, has been made with such an amazing wood, very strong quality wood. It has been dried for six months. So builders say is one of the best ship he has never built, and most probably it will last 100 years. It's a real story from the tree to the boat, because when they choose the first beam, they had to go in the forest to find the right tree, the good size, the good, the good length, the everything. Otherwise, they could because it was the first piece of wood, and if they didn't have this the right wood, they couldn't start the right size boat. Every part of the boat was thought in details, uh, and trying to imagine if I am living on that boat, 
how would I feel? What do I need? It's very important. So you have, as you say, the traditional design, but with a modern comfort. The way you, you see it, but also the way you touch it. It's like everything is like yeah, something, you know, you feel. I'm, if I see something, I always want to touch it, want to move it, and then you feel the quality. I like that a lot of environmental mindfulness was thought through when building this Indonesian finisi. It's part of our life. In our family life, we try to go to zero waste uh, because there is no other option. You cannot say, I don't care, because we are not talking about 50 or 100 years problem now anymore. We are talking about less than 10 years where we will be just surrounded by trash. We can see it just diving. You can see not only the plastic, which is a real problem, but you, you can see that there is all what human do has an impact. I've been diving here for 10 years and you see the difference in 10 years. So it's very, it's very sad and it's just our human uh, way of living that has its impact. So if we want to keep on working with this boat, we have to be aware and respectful of the environment. Here on the boat you will find like uh, ecological and free uh, uh, friendly coral uh, sunscreen, we have uh, ecological uh, soap, uh, we are careful about the use of the, of the, the, the fuel, the use of the water and the production. Uh, we have solar panel uh, and we, we really try to also provide like uh, healthy food, good food, yoga. So all these uh, aspects make uh, the, the jacare really unique. A dozen carpenters, cabinet makers, electricians and painters have succeeded after more than 30 months to build jacare. The use of rot-proof wooden pegs or rivets are used to assemble the shell, so there are no nails and minimal amount of screws are used on the jacare. This finisi holds strong traditional elements that is authentic to its Indonesian roots, but the finishings clearly had the owner's touch. French chic. We have also a very good engine which uses a very small quantity of, uh, of solar. So this is quite, uh, quite good also compared to the other boat. Our crew is very aware of the protection of the environment. So if we can go on to a mooring, for example, we'll choose a mooring instead of dropping the anchor. So it's marine toilet. Uh, when you go to Europe, uh, all the boats have this kind of toilet. It's compulsory, there is no choice. The toilet uh, scratch everything and all the water goes in some uh, special tank in the Pinisi and we keep them so it doesn't go next to the coast. We never throw away our uh, dirty water. Uh, we call it grey gray and black water. We never throw that into the water close to the coast, close to the coral because this has a very high impact. So we just keep it in the tank and once we are in high sea, far away from all coast, we can clean it out and we just start again. Hey baby, check out this view. Wanna Western to local food. And this is Chef Ahan. 
And then Shamso who helps us around, our chef, and he also helps us around with the housekeeping of this whole place. So, apa menu untuk lunch hari ini? Hari ini ada dia, Shamso, dia ada nampre, dia humus, falafel. Asian food. And salvini. Very, very delicious. Very, very delicious, chef. Yes. All right. Well, okay. I'll leave you to it. Aduh, harumnya banget baunya. Masak apa ini, mak? Ikan goreng. Ikan goreng. Wah. Ikan apa? Ikan ketombo. Ketumbung, kembung kembung, kembung ikan kembung. Ini benar pak, pumpkin bikin pumpkin soup. Wah pumpkin soup. Iya. Ini sambal sambal oleh oleh sambal rawit. Iya. Wah. This is the map that Dylan our dive director. Our cruise director shows us where we're going. We're, we're heading towards this side right now. This is the resting area for the crew. They can play their guitar. They can also enjoy coffee and tea whenever they want to, you know, have a break in between. It's uh, New York. I almost got my, I love this song. I play, I, I show you one time and then you learn. Let me play together. Music is like a natural way of uh, connecting anyway and, and when people make music and, and special this guy is like <laughs> he's, so, he's so funny and it's also so open and he has a little bit this kit inside him and, and, and I think that connects the music and this kit part. They also have access to where the captain is. We're gonna go there in just a bit, but first, let me take you downstairs where there are also four cabins, each with their own private bathroom. Here we have another four cabins. So we've got two bigger ones, the premium suites. I don't know if it's called suites or not, but it's more bigger and they've got an extra uh, bed. And then we've got the singles. For the single to ready to mingle. Ready to mingle, singles for the ready to mingle. Because we're on liverboard, we've always made sure that they have the first aid box with the basics here. And this is the area where you can also charge your batteries. Um, I think the crew keeps some of their diving little bit box here. I want to share with you this little special thing here, Jacare's very own aluminium bottle that you can purchase to assist Thrash Hero, which basically is an NGO uh, that helps with the environment in making sure that there is a proper waste management all around the world. And they've come to Labuan Bajo, thank God, because it's getting to be very, very commercialized uh, since the first what, since the first time you came here, right? Yeah. So it's so much more commercialized. And with commercialization and development, there is also the um, cases of waste management or improper waste management. So, so we wanted uh, Dylan, our cruise director, told us, you know, that would be good to help them to do the work. And they are selling some bottles, so maybe we should do that. And say, so, well, yeah, go for it. That's a very good idea. And you can purchase this and it helps to basically sustain their efforts in making sure we have an eco-friendlier planet to live on. Bit by bit, small acts of love, this is what you can do. This is where the diving equipment okay. is kept and this is the crew. Say hi guys! Hi. Hello! We have 10 crew on board taking care of the service, so it's nearly as much crew as guests. One crew per guest. So for us, the service is very important. And it's also about safety. Our crew are dedicated because we pay them well. And we try to make this family uh, feeling <laughs> in the crew. So it's a um, fully fledged dive center, if you can actually say that it is, because it has all the equipment. Um, you can tell in advance if you have any special requests. 
like they will call you up and they'll say okay what's the size of your fin especially if you're not bringing anything on board what so i like most about the arrangement that they have here in this dive center is that they've actually got a box for each of the guests so even if you're a non-diver if you're snorkeling you also have your very own box where you can keep your fins as well as your mask so it's actually quite easy for you to you know find all your stuff you don't have to go out and go look for the same fin or your same um, mask they actually uh, labeled it they put mine as da pink because my pointer is pink in color so they call me oh the pink lady so da pink isn't that cool okay so that's that of course this is where they will write down the briefing or where we're going to be diving etc etc so this is the hollow one and i i like one thing also is that they have ample space um, a lot of lines, uh, what do you call this? Washing, drying, washing, drying lines? Yeah. What do you call this? Yeah, to hang your clothes because, you know, on a boat, you've got to minimize your luggage and you want to ensure that you have enough clothes and also dry your wetsuits, etc. Assalamualaikum. Okay, let's head over. This is our okay. captain. Okay, good morning. My name is Magi Purwanto. There you go. I am from... Labon Bajo. Labon Bajo. This is Captain Maggi. Captain Maggi. Siapa? Chief Officer. Alright. Close up. Ooh. Chief Officer. Nama? Nama saya Abu Talib. There's beds in, at the back here. So, siapa yeah. punya kamar ini? Saya punya. Ini Captain punya? Yeah. Ini Chief yeah. Miala? Yeah. Alright. So, they have to make sure that they're always constantly near. Apa dipanggilnya tempat ni? Wheelhouse ya? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, the Kalau wheelhouse. Kalau Indonesia, Anjungan. Anjung ah, ini Anjungan. Yeah. Oh, this is the Anjungan. I was like, okay, where's Anjungan? This Inilah anjungannya. This is the wheelhouse and this is the most important part of the ship. Actually, every part is important, but this is where the, the, the driving goes through, whatever you call it, the sailing. And that's why they live so nearby, in case of anything. And sometimes, bila kita tidur pun, kamu ada juga sailing, kan? Yeah. Kita gantian. Oh, gantian-gantian. Beautiful. So it's pilot and co-pilot. Likes that, so again, likes that. All right. Kita kena introduce seorang, kita tadi tak nampak dia Oh ladies, tak nak tak payah Ladies and gentlemen, please Me, Go, superstar Mansur Mula-mula saya panggil dia Mansur Ada R Dan sama Tommy tak ada R Halo, saya Mansur dari Manukwari I'm a dive master With my friend and instructor Dylan Hi, my name is Dylan, I'm cruise director And welcome to the Jackery why oh, say? How did you come on board uh, Jacare? How, how did you find Jacare? How the dive center that trained me to become a dive uh, instructor. I met them on the event for diving in Paris, wow. like in, uh, in January 2019. And they were just near to the stand. So I just say hello, my name is Dylan. This is what I want to do, this is what I can do, and this is my CV. Maybe we will call back, you know? And they called me back. This is probably one of my favorite spots. This over here, let me see if I can climb over, oh, is our yoga deck. And we do sunrise as well as sunset yoga here. You can also do meditation, just bring your mat. And it's big enough for um, a comfortable maybe seven, seven to eight people. Uh, we've got Maya, who is also one of the owners of the Finisi. She's also a certified yoga instructor. She also does Qigong and meditation. She's amazing. We love our sessions over here. There's many doors to go into meditation. We are all designed differently. We always come with a different story. And for some people, to be able to go into this uh, meditation state, you have to go from a physical point of view, but some others they have to go through a breathing point of view, but some others they will need some uh, Qigong point of view. So whatever you do, you just aim to this sensation. I'm just trying to feel this deep connection with my inner self and with my surrounding. So I've been dragged out from downstairs where I was comfortably sleeping, only to come here because there's a surprise for all of our guests. There's also a sunset yoga that's taking place in front of us. I have no idea what this surprise is, but I'm guessing it's something to do with sunset and the island. The moment you are on the platform up there, when we saw the bat flying and you can see the stars and you feel the, the breeze or the <laughs> heavy wind on the face, <laughs> you, you naturally 
you go back into this connection. So naturally it will help. That's really surprising. Really beautiful. That's surprising. That was the surprise. I guess this place is known for the um, the flight of blight, blights, yeah. the flight of bats yeah. um, heading look at, to look. God knows where for more food. And just look at Chris. Look at him. Chris is like praying to the bats, the bat gods. Batman, make me the Batman. Chris. Uh, meditating a bird because it's just on the water. The you feel something, you just a little bit move and you feel, you make you feel nature and feel your body like it's moving, uh, like something, you know, you, you, it's light. I, I don't know how to explain that. Just you, you feel um, man, man, man is deep and it go away and you, actually is very deep. Because of my bad experience with other yoga instructors before where they were forcing my body to go into things that I do not feel comfortable with, I think it's first and foremost very important to have the connection with the teacher. So I love the fact that my uh, yoga instructor on this jacare is perfect for me. She has the same yoga philosophy that I share. You must listen to your body. I think that's very important. So the connection with the teacher is first and foremost very vital. It's definitely different because of the fact that we're on a moving boat. I'm more used to dynamic poses where I, I go into vinyasa. There were a lot of new concepts that was introduced that I've read about or I've experienced before in other classes, but, but to do it in one class was just uh, so rewarding. One of the classes that we had was in the morning uh, on breathing techniques. And again, because this is something that I've always wanted to um, be able to master, I felt that breathing class in the morning was just superb and so timely. Because what happened next was the first dive after that breathing class where I went through a panic, anxiety attack underwater, uh, the currents were really strong. I couldn't find my buddy, aka my husband. Dylan was the only person there and I thought, oh no, where's everyone else? And I started panicking. And then I remembered what Maya was telling me. She was saying, just breathe, just breathe. It's, it's mind over matter, mind over matter. So that practice of breathing and eventually I calmed down. Otherwise, you can also head down over here. The solarium you can bring your mats or these like mattresses that you have downstairs we've also got huge bean bags where you can place it strategically anywhere around this area if you want some sun if you want a sunbathe or you want some quiet time in the evening reading a book and just enjoying the breeze this is a perfect place to do it it's just magnificent just sleeping and seeing the Milky Way watching the stars and just having a blanket curled up with your loved one this is an excellent place and I want to highlight this fact they have a solar panel. For us, it was just normal to have solar panel. We live in this country, which is so sunny. Why not to use it? Yeah, you have some generator uh, on board. So we just fill in the generator with the solar panel, the engine, um, and the genset. So we have the three ways of uh, filling up our batteries. And when the batteries are full, we switch off genset, we switch off uh, uh, engine and we are just in the quiet and silence when you are always have this noise you cannot really connect with the environment but the moment all the noises just drop and it's really a deep connection with the environment around you it's really very nice these are your rafts you've got two rafts on board it's a two mass finisi that's basically it we've got the kayak as well as the paddle boat um, lots of activities that can be done even if you're a non-diver you can just enjoy this uh, finisi and it's beautiful i really love being on the jacare and uh, this is our tour for you this is Daphne Iking's channel but basically it revolves around my family and if you enjoy watching our videos press the subscribe button please <sighs> what's going to happen so the thing is actually I can tell you because it's a surprise. It's okay. So, this will be edited later. So actually nobody know but I bring the boat when we are going to assist to a sunset with bats. So there is thousands of bats and I'm going oh to fly away from the from the island and it's going to be a really good show and we are on time so it's okay. Is there any bad shit on bats? No. No, no good. They, they came like quite close.
Eh, so you guys done all the part, ah? Huh? 